Okay, so I ran across this puzzle yesterday, in fact, and maybe some of you have seen it, but I thought it was pretty interesting. So I'm going to call it the Cambridge puzzle because it, it got spread around Cambridge and a lot of people were kind of looking at it and teasing each other with it. It actually came from a, a mathematical Olympiad, and eventually they took it back, you know, the people took it back to Cambridge. And one of the greatest mathematicians alive actually couldn't solve it. You could make a case that he's actually one of the greatest mathematicians ever, a guy by the name of John Conway. Uh, maybe you've seen him in some of the NumberFile videos. I, I noticed that NumberFile has quite a few videos about him. But um, So, so you, if you're interested in Conway and some of the amazing, really cool stuff he's done, go check it out. But this is a good puzzle because you don't need anything special. It's just very, you know, you, you could show this to, to an elementary school student. That's why I like it. So, okay, here's the puzzle. So... Eventually, you're just going to try to find what comes next in the sequence. So we're going to start off here with the number 1, and then in the next row we write 1, and then another 1, and then in the next row we write 2 and 1. After that comes 1, 2, 1, 1. After that comes 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1. Then after that, we've got 3, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1. Now next comes 1, 3, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1. And then the last row I'm going to write out here, we have the numbers 1, 1, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 1. And now your the, the the question is what sequence of numbers goes next what sequence of numbers comes next that's the puzzle so again one of the greatest mathematicians of all times was unable to solve this problem and uh, from 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 reading about it you know it took a, a lot of people a lot of mathematicians at, at Cambridge you know uh, uh, some of them it only took a couple minutes some of them it took you know more than that so with no false modesty, I'm going to say that I was actually able to solve this one in about 30 seconds. And um, not because I'm a great mathematician, I just think I got lucky and stumbled on it pretty quickly. So normally I, I hate when people give me these types of puzzle problems. They kind of put me on the spot and they're like, hey, Patrick, solve this. And I'm like, oh, God, and my brain turns off. So um, this is one I actually got pretty quickly. So I, I felt even more special um, when I read afterwards that this great mathematician wasn't able to get it. So again, guy's much smarter than me. But um, So anyways, what comes next? So uh, uh, feel free to post some uh, comments. I'm sure if you've already seen it, don't spoil it and say, oh, this is what you do. Um, you know, uh, uh, but certainly feel free to, to, to take a look at the comments if you get stuck. And I don't know. That's it. That's all there is to it. So nothing, well, I'm not going to give any hints. So okay, good luck and enjoy the puzzle.